High fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what will happen if the two of you come back together here. So, if you are deciding to revisit a connection here with your special someone, we'll want to see what will happen if you do decide to go down that avenue. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and connect. My email address will be listed for you at the bottom of the video here in the show more section, um, along with all the information you'll need. So once again, this reading here is intended for all fire signs. Let's go ahead and get the cards shuffled. Okay, this is interesting. I feel like given the weathering, like the weather conditions of the Five of Pentacles here, such a contrast to the Ten of Cups. So the two of you might have had um, a lot of turbulency, a lot of turmoil earlier on in the connection. But I feel like if you guys do decide to come back together and really try and work through some things, I honestly feel like you can get that rainbow at the end of your storm here, right? I feel like you guys could come back together. You've got the 9 and the 10 here, which to me feels like um, it could be sometime next year, like in September or October, that things might really improve for the two of you or where you yourself as an individual or perhaps you together with this individual will be in a such a better place here emotionally mentally spiritually physically you'll be so much more aligned uh, with your vibrations and with a particular romantic energy here so I feel like there is some personal insecurities that I'm picking up around someone's energy. Maybe someone was quite possessive or very jealous or very insecure of someone here. And I feel like that may have somehow influenced the connection negatively. So if you guys do want to just, you know, come back together, it's very important to let go of any behavioral patterns that do not serve you positively. It'll also be important to become each other's best friend here. Okay, because I feel like for some of you, maybe this is, you guys started out as friends and then you guys decided to pursue things romantically here. So, and maybe that's what it's, that, let me try again. Maybe that's going to, that's going to be what it takes for you to revisit the connection and make it a successful one. Like going back to the very start, maybe, you know, starting things off very slowly, uh, taking baby steps in order to preserve this connection, maybe even going back to just being friends for the time being. It's your relationship and I honestly feel like you're an expert on your own relationship here. But I definitely see that there is, to me, it feels like someone he has been doing some growing or some working on themselves. I'm not sure if this is your energy or your person's energy. It is a general reading, so take it as it uh, applies or resonates here. And if you come back together, and especially if someone he has done some maturing or some growing up here, I feel like you're, you're both in a better place to work on things and especially work through any insecurities or behavioral patterns. Because to me, I feel like uh, the one blockage the connection experienced was your person here or even yourself i don't know if someone had a very anxious attachment style and as a result always felt a little bit insecure or there was feelings of jealousy he someone wasn't always very upfront about the other like with the other person and may have left them in the dark about certain things and that obviously you can see how that can create insecurities or definitely like create drama or flare things up in a connection here so if you guys do decide to come back Back together I honestly feel like you can have whatever it is that you envisioned from the start which was a healthy happy relationship possibly coming together in a union okay in in a commitment or a union of some sort whether it's a relationship whether it's uh, living together getting married getting engaged with one another having children here children is very prominent in your reading I feel like you can have those visions and you can have all of this with your person provided you, the two of you really do some work 
with each other and provided that when you come back together it's all about you know shared goals and shared intentions it's about giving each other the respect that you deserve and meeting each other in the middle finding that balance because your connection may have been previously imbalanced but I mean you grow you grow and you learn and you know if you come back together I feel like there's room for more growth as an individual and growing with each other so you are wanting to manifest this person back into your life and I feel like this person is also wanting to manifest back in you know to manifest you back into their life and they were always very hopeful okay this person I feel like was very hopeful that you were going to end up you know there being the one for them you were going to end up uh, riding off into the sunset with them Disney style or that you know they were going to end up having your children so I feel like you guys have manifested one another and if you guys do decide to come back and reconnect here as fates would have it I also feel like it would stem from your manifestation so give yourself a pat in the back there because I feel like you guys are vibrationally this will come back together and this will work when you guys are in vibrational alignment with one another so if it hasn't happened just yet and if you're really desirous of wanting this manifestation to come into fruition for whatever reason it's it's not ready yet okay so do not put any pressure on it because that's the worst thing you can do do not upset yourself um, about it as well because don't be in a hurry okay never be in a hurry do things quietly and do things in a calm spirit so you don't act you don't make decisions that are aggressive or in haste and you know, never lose your inner peace for anyone or anything. I'll repeat that again. Never lose your inner peace for anything or anyone, okay? It's just not worth it. Because I feel like earlier in the connection, you did that. You did that. You know, you let them get the best of you. Or you let your insecurities or their insecurities get the best of you in this connection. And it just wasn't worth it. I mean, there is a lot of love there. I feel like there's such a close emotional bond and such a close emotional connection. And for some of you, I mean, you've been friends with this person before you guys were lovers. And there's such a strong foundation. So why would you want to throw it all away, especially if there's still that closeness there or if there's still feelings that are invested into one another? Okay, it's all about, you know, relationships are work and if you guys can come back together and try and make this work then it can be that wonderful amazing truly blessed connection one that is rich in blessings and abundance and prosperity and emotions you can have all of that and so much more but will you going to have you know will you need to work for it absolutely will you need to put in some work will you need to meet each other in the middle yes and yes okay but you can have all of that you can have that rainbow at the end of your storm here but you know given that the suit of cups and the suit of pentacles is more of a slower moving energy i feel like this will only work if you do not hurry it if you try and put pressure on yourself and on your person when you're not ready or even when the connection itself is not ready it's not going to work it's going to fall apart at the seams here so do not be in a hurry okay do not be in a hurry don't think that by now you should have had this accomplished or that accomplished if that was in your timeline it would have happened here the universe knows what it's doing so you know again carry things out in a calm um, spirit here and everything will start unfolding and manifesting for you in the way that it should Alrighty, and these are your messages thanks guys for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking sharing or commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages guys so stay tuned for those of you interested in a reading please feel free to connect bye for now